How's it going everybody? Gian here from Fucker Tactical. I'm the guy who edits and directs all the videos from Doug Markaida, Instructor Zero. Anyway, today is Halloween, so have a very, very safe and spooky Halloween. I'm taking my kids out this evening. Uh, my little girl is dressing up as Princess Elsa and my little boy is a skeleton. I don't know how that works. Last year it was Wolverine. I don't know if he's downgrading or upgrading. Anyway, write in the comments below what you or your kids will be dressing up as and share with the community. So we have Matt Barnett from Bonetti Explosives shooting off some explosive rounds into an anatomically correct zombie head. Just for you guys. 20,000 frames in slow motion? Yes, please. Appropriate for Halloween. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was filmed in Texas with Instructor Zero. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the Funker Tactical episodes, guys. We really appreciate your support. Please make sure to click that subscribe button. If you like this video, make sure to like and share it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again. See ya. What I'm going to show you guys today is the explosive 44 caliber projectile that we came up with. So this is a 240 grain jacketed hollow point projectile that we have basically drilled out to within an eighth of an inch of the base of this projectile and then filled it with a proprietary explosive mix. <clears throat> the explosive, it, there's less than, less than a gram inside of there, yet the, and it's very insensitive and so you don't have to worry about it going off in the barrel of the firearm. However, when it does impact a target, uh, the, the energy of this round moving forward begins to compress the explosive between the base of the round and the target, causing the detonation of it. When it's intact and put together, it looks like a standard 44 round. There's, there's nothing special about it, except for sometimes you can see some of the epoxy on top, but that'll be about it. This video is a, a video of one of the rounds being fired into a zombie go boom head. That's a group of guys that develop heads that are anatomically correct, complete with a skull, brain, uh, blood, and tissue on the outside. This was filmed at, I think, 20,000 frames per second. And this round was fired from a Model 1874 Winchester lever action 44 Magnum rifle. And as you can see the round, you can see a little bit of the flash when it began to detonate. Uh, but a lot of the detonation occurred actually inside of that skull. And because the skull is full of liquid, uh, you have a lot of hydraulic action on the outer portion of it which causes it to fracture the way that it did. And hydraulics are a fascinating force. And so you can see extensive damage has been done to that head because of it. Uh, well, really, uh, everything I do, I do because I love it. Uh, and sometimes there are facets where people can use it, sometimes there's not. Uh, so I, everything I do stays within the confines of my license and stays within the legal parameters that I'm given, and I have fun with it. And people like stuff like this mainly for spotting targets. So let's say you're firing this round over 100 yards, you actually see the flash of the explosion, you know that you missed by three feet to the left, and then you can compensate. It's, it's very, instead of somebody watching where that round hits in the grass and trying to tell you, well, I, I don't know exactly where it was, you get this explosion, you know where that round went, and so then you can compensate for it. But so much of the stuff that I develop and come up with is motivated by needs in industry. Uh, that wasn't necessarily needed, it's just something I thought about one day and said, hey, this would be fun and people like it, and that we call them spotter rounds. And of course it all were, revolves around explosives in one way or another, because that's where my heart is, and I work best when I'm working on something that I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. 